Hi, I'm Lori Erickson, and I'm back with another episode of Ask HR. First, I want to thank the campus for the questions that you sent in. We would really like to take the opportunity to answer your questions and address the things that are burning in your minds. Our first question today is, how will onboarding be different in the Voyager system? I can't wait for the campus to see what onboarding looks like in Voyager. It's an immersive experience for applicants where they get a better insight into the ETSU community, but it also allows our recruiters on campus to have more control of the employee and applicant experience. You can contact your applicants directly through the system, set up interviews through the system, and manage the entire hiring process in one system seamlessly. It's also going to allow us to move employees from the applicant state to the employee state with no delay. This will be such an improvement over the way we currently process new hires in our systems today. Question two, will we be paid on Fridays in the Voyager system? Yes, in our bi-weekly payrolls, you'll be paid every other Friday. This means you know exactly when your paycheck is going to be deposited and you'll have access to that pay slip the day before payday. This will ensure consistency in everyone's pay and give you the ability to budget and manage your funds appropriately. Question three, does the university have a standardized dress code? The answer is no. ETSU has a wide variety of positions that require employees to dress in very different manners. For example, it wouldn't be appropriate for us to require our grounds crew to dress the same way that a faculty member in management and marketing might dress, or to ask the faculty in art and design that are working with clay and pottery to dress the same way as the faculty in the College of Medicine. Dress codes are set by each department, so if you're concerned about the dress code in your own department, you should talk to your supervisor about what is and is not appropriate for you to wear to work. If you've got questions you'd like to see answered in the Ask HR series, email those to hr at etsu.edu with the subject line Ask HR, and maybe you'll hear your question on our next installment.